Today on CJ Off-Road, we're going to increase the performance of our JK Wrangler with some help from InGen. Your Jeep Wrangler comes equipped with a fly-by-wire accelerator which limits the acceleration to the factory specifications. Today we want to show you how to increase that throttle response by installing this InGen X-Pedal Pro. This InGen X-Pedal Pro is going to fit all 2007-18 JK Wranglers equipped with a 3.8 or 3.6 liter engine. It features everything that you need to get it mounted up into your JK Wrangler, including a nice control box, all the wiring, and a dash monitor with the 3M tape. Now this plugs into your OBD2 port as well as behind your accelerator pedal. So we're going to get this installed on my 2012 JK equipped with a supercharger and see how the difference feels. We pulled the door off of our Jeep Wrangler to make it a bit easier for you guys to see and it's easier once you're crawling up into there and working with some of the wiring underneath. Make sure that you disconnect the battery first, go underneath the hood and make sure that's disconnected and we're going to get started with the install. To get started, we're going to first remove this access panel on the driver's side of our dash. We're going to use a trim removal tool. This is just a little plastic pry bar, that way we don't nick it up. This will give us access easier to that OBD2 port and let us tuck away some wires. Just little clips under there. Once you get it started, it'll just pop right out. It's nice and simple. Now if you're inside your Jeep and you look upwards on the accelerator pedal, you can see there's a little clip on the top left corner of this screen. You're going to depress it and pull that off, plug it into the X pedal connection, and then put their connection back into its place. It's pretty simple to do, however, it's extremely hard to see. So just trust me on this one, it'll pop right off, plug the other one in, and then we'll continue the wiring. There are a lot of different choices as to where you mount up your LCD display. Now in my Jeep, I'm gonna put it right here. I feel like it's a nice spot for it. It's not gonna get bumped or jostled around. The kit actually includes 3M tape. So I've tucked the wire in between the steering column and actually just ran it out through here. Super easy, you can see right through there. Now let's get this mounted up into place. Attach the 3M adhesive to the back. Make sure you press firmly on there so it seats. We'll pull the red off the back. Make sure you hold this in place for a little bit, that way it sticks onto your dash properly. And if your dash is dirty, make sure you clean it off first and it won't stick the mud. I put some 3M tape on the back of this control box here. What I'm gonna do, place it right here. Press firmly, that way it sticks. We can connect everything right up at the top. The display wire is going to plug right into here. Next is going to be the power wire from the OBD2 port. And last but not least, the input from the pedal. We'll go right on the end. These two wires I have cut off. Now if you want to, you can tap this into your brake light and this into your reverse switch sensor. That's going to turn off the pedal control when you're in reverse. I have a manual Jeep, so I don't really mind about that. If you're not gonna use them, just tape them up like this. That way they don't short out or ground out or anything like that. The battery is now reconnected. What you're going to do is put the key in the ignition and turn it to the ACC on, but make sure that your Jeep doesn't start. I'm gonna go through and show you how to get this set up. That way your computer can learn the accelerator positions and get you set up perfectly so you have some more throttle response. Now the first thing you're going to do is hold the mode button down until the number counts down from zero. This is going to be the 0% accelerator input. So it's going to learn when your foot is not on the pedal. So we're not going to step on the pedal. It's going to learn the 0% throttle position. We'll give that a couple seconds, about 10 seconds. Press the up or down arrow. Now it says H and all of these are blinking here. So this is going to be the full throttle position. I'm going to push the pedal all the way to the floor. 100% throttle and hold it there. Now with the throttle fully depressed, I'm going to press the down arrow. And it says zero. The full throttle position lights are all the way up. And I'll release it. And it went all the way down. Now see, 
Watch this. Can you see it? Yep. Now I'm gonna slowly press on the pedal and you'll see what happens. You see the lights going up right there? Now as I release them, they're going down. And that has successfully learned our throttle input. Now that we're in our Jeep, honestly, I was a little bit hesitant to see what it would do, you know? It's not really a performance gain as far as horsepower and torque go, it's just to change that throttle input. So right now I've got it in sport mode and I'm at level five. Now InGen recommends that you don't go above level six, so kind of like that seven, eight, and nine level, unless you're off-road or on a track, because it's, it's pretty serious. I put it up to number nine and you can honestly feel it kind of just ramp up, but I'm gonna keep it at five. definitely feel the difference there now my Jeep is supercharged so one of the things that was lacking was that throttle response I always thought that it was a little bit low from the factory this InGen pedal pro seems to be changing it up pretty good probably one of the nicest features about the InGen kit here is that you're able to change it on the fly now you should do it at a stoplight that way you're used to the change that it's gonna make to your throttle but you can change it from sport mode 1 through 9 you can go back to normal mode, which is no change than it would be from factory. And then you can even go to eco mode. Now eco mode is going to slow down your throttle response, making your Jeep a little bit more economically friendly, you know, getting better gas mileage, which is something we're not used to as Jeep owners. So if you want to just drive down the highway, you know, you're just cruising for a long trip, put it in that eco mode. You know, it's not going to waste as much gas when you're gunning on the throttle, but around town, you want to have some fun, put it in the sport mode. It's definitely worth it. It's like there, I think, where you feel, like the mid-range, like... One of the, also, one of the cool things about this kit is that you don't need any tools to do it. I did use a trim removal tool to get that panel off, but you can do that with your hands if you're careful enough, or a little screwdriver or something like that, so you don't need anything crazy specific or a mechanics tool to do, to do this or get it done, uh, you know, just pop that off, make a few connections. I use a couple zip ties in the end to clean up the wiring a little bit, but you don't even need to do that. You just pop that panel back on, stick that onto your dash, and now you've got, you know, your pedal completely controlled by the InGen unit and seems to be working pretty good. Now this X pedal from InGen is available right here at cjponyparts.com as well as many other performance parts for your JK Wrangler. It's gonna turn it into a street machine and get you ready for the trail. Hope you enjoyed that video. To stay up to date on our CJ Off-Road videos, make sure to subscribe up top here. And for any other installs, make sure to click the link right above.